Gardening the environmentally friendly way is the subject of loads more muck and magic this Thursday at 8. The magic of parenthood, my two dad style at 8.30. Film on four. Peter Firth stars in Born of Fire at nine. Thursday on Channel Four. A tea time invitation to unscramble a few letters and numbers is extended by the affable Richard Whiteley in a couple of minutes. The next time you're laying breakfast. Remember the ads, Ben Gregory? Neither a borrower nor a lender be. Oh, that's true. That's very true. Penny wise, pound foolish. Well, yes, of course. All that glitters is not gold. No, oh, of course. That's so right. You can't take your money out of a building society high interest account without incurring a penalty. That's true. That's very true. Oh, no, that's false. <clears throat> Actually, for example, with Nationwide Anglia Capital Bonus Account, you can take out a lump sum with no loss of interest. Capital Bonus offers immediate access to up to £3,000 once a year. Mersey oats and dozy oats, but little lambsy of the ivy. Well, that's gibberish. Yeah, you win again. The Nationwide Anglia Capital Bonus Account. The answer? To the problem. New Aerial Rapide Travel. It's never been so easy to get clean away. Tomorrow night, a profile of the Scottish artist George Wiley. My definition of public art is art that the public can't avoid. No one in Glasgow avoided this trouble locomotive. Did you really expect this machine to work? Quite honestly, no. You don't have to know how a thing works in order to know that it isn't working. You can't be buck up at the Clyde without having a feeling for engineering. So you're really the only serious ship on the left? On yeah. paper, anyway. <laughs> George Wiley, the man and his question mark. Tomorrow night at 9 on Channel 4. Now, yesterday's new champion from Scotland is subjected to his first challenge on countdown. Thank you. It's very nice uh, that you should give me all that applause. Oh, it's not for me. It's for our champion. It must be. Derek Coombs. It's well deserved. <laughs> yes, good game yesterday, first of the week. Derek Coombs, um, 42 points. Uh, Derek uh, acquired to dislodge uh, the then uh, holder of the title, Richard Hook, who got 37. So it's all down to the final conundrum, of course, but that was it. Uh, 42 points was the winning score. So Derek who's in the area and comes from Dunfermline. He's in the chair, in the chair next to me and hoping to be in the winner's seat in half an hour's time is Pat Danes. Uh, she's a retired bank clerk from Bracknell in Berkshire. She enjoys coin collecting. I suppose it's, uh, it makes a change. Uh, she's, she's keen on... Uh, entering competition. She's won several prizes, including a microwave. So she's hoping to put the heat on our champion today. So good luck to you, Pat Dane. <laughs> well, yesterday our guardian of the dictionaries only beat our contestants on uh, one occasion, actually, with the seven-letter word Angoras. Angoras, that uh, sort of mountain goat. Well, after that, he kidded around, making me the butt of most of his jokes. But he's back again. Will you welcome Giles Brandreth? Yeah. Great to be with you. Wonderful to see you. So I have to begin by clearing something up. There has been a complaint. Yes, another one. Somebody has phoned in to say that yesterday they overheard me calling my companion here in Dictionary Dell 
a silly old move because she disagreed with one of the words that I was offering up. You misheard, madam. I would never dream of speaking to anybody like that. What I, in fact, muttered was sine con mu, which is a Latin tag meaning one without equal. And here she is, <laughs> Della Thompson. <laughs> I wish I knew some Latin. I can only think of, uh, oh yes, amo, means I love. Very appropriate, Aww. because I love Carol Vorder. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> and I love this game too. Whether Pat Danes will after today, or whether Derek Coombs will after today, I know not. But let's see now who wins as we start today with Derek. Uh, consonant, please. Okay. N. Another consonant, please. And another N. And another consonant, please. T. Uh, fourth consonant, please. B. A vowel, please. A. Another vowel, please. And O. And another vowel, please. And another A. Uh, consonant, please. This time it's R. And another consonant, please. All right, Derek. And F. Good. That's the selection. This is the first countdown. Four and three. Oh, four to begin with. Right, Pat. Six. Six. Four, Derek, is? Boat. Boat. Yes, boat. Six, Pat, is? A front. A front. front. A-F-O-R-O-N-T. Yes. Why, why, I'm, why I'm going like that is, I just wondered if that's right. Should it have two Fs? Or am I being an idiot? Are you going to be affronted in a moment? I was, while we're checking that one, delighted to see familiar initials there. But I thought our champion would have spotted, of course, being in the RAF, they were there. Other military types would uh, serve on BOAR, which is the British Army on the Rhine, or BA, yes, B, anyway. Have you found it? No, I'm afraid a front has two Fs. It does have two Fs. Oh, how frustrating. So there is a six-letter word there, which is Barton. Nothing to do with dick, but it's an old word for fun now. A Barton. Indeed, as is a place called Barton on Humber the uh, one side of the Humber Bridge, Barton upon Humber. Good. Right, well, <laughs> no one's more surprised than Derek <laughs> to get four points for his goat. Boat. Was it? Oh, boat, sorry, boat. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been surprised if he got four points for a goat. <laughs> okay, Pat, back to you 